Peggy 18. My name is Powers Booth and I play uh, Travis. My name is Shannon Sossman, and I play the character of Jade in Hitman 5. He's the uh, head of some sort of super agency that we do all kinds of wonderful and dastardly things. <laughs> She's the secretary of Travis, who runs the agency that employs Hitman. She just wants to get to the top no matter what, so she's kind of got her own plans, I think. And maybe doesn't always agree with the way Travis does things. Maybe Travis is a little bit more emotional or something. <laughs> I must say, that at least for the first half day that I shot, I felt like, what the hell have I got myself into? This is just bizarre because it's not like anything else and the uh, only way I can describe it is yeah you got the 360 because the cameras are everywhere but you also have this monkey suit on and this silly hat with a camera sitting in front of your face. I've played these games. I, I play them more often than I like to admit. Um, starting way back before Donkey Kong and all that stuff. So to see them involved, and then in my mind to have an image of what is fun to me when I play, besides just the technique and everything. I mean, I want the performance to be a little better than anything that I've seen and all this other kind of stuff. But at the same time, there's something ironic about these characters in that you don't want them quite to be real. So in certain instances, when they are over the top, you like it even more. It's a whole other thing that takes some adjusting to get to. For example, just a simple thing, like, see this thing right in front of your face? It's very hard to focus on the other actor if that's there, and like, this character smokes. So just technically, you can't bring a cigarette up because you smack into that camera, so you have to find a way that looks cool and goes in there and does it. So it was challenging. It was, everything was exactly the same. It was, it was really interesting to try to do really weird things with like uh, intricacies to the movement just to see if it would pick it up, like something really weird or quirky. And it did, it picked it up. And it looked, it, it, everything looked the same and I would turn around and I would twirl around. The only thing that was different was that she had bigger boobs. So every, you know, I was moving my arms and I was moving things around and I would turn and then just, I would turn and then the screen there was, that was the only thing that was different. So they made my boobs bigger and my butt smaller. What's similar in many ways is, I mean, as far as uh, the, the reality of the scenes and those kind of things, but uh, as much as anything, they know the technology. They know, uh, for example, the first day I had a lot of questions about like, okay, uh, where's this wall? And uh, I'm going up these stairs, why and to what? And uh, what are they really? You know, those kinds of things. And to watch them do the set in a box would suddenly become, you see it over there, it's a full-fledged desk with a chair and computers on it and all this kind of stuff. And, and uh, it was bizarre, frankly, to, to, to see that and, and, uh, and how good it looked at the end of the day when, when it went on there. Sir, we found him. Bertie was right. He's in Hope, South Dakota. Okay, people, listen up. I'm giving a green light on this operation. 